Hey, what's up? I uh, tried to do a little video of uh, me checking the amps on this motor on my uh, on my my battery from my boat. I got it all rewired and everything, but um, my uh, my very expensive one didn't have an amp clamp with it. Go figure. So I bought me this little amp clamp from. Uh, you know me, the store I love to hate, Amazon. And we will try it out. Um, I'll show you all the, oops, sorry about that. I'll show you all the one I got, <clears throat> one for $40. This is the only thing I'll ever use it for. I don't know, I might try to work some, just see how it does, but it's not a very accurate, I mean, you cut it on and it reads voltage from the get-go. <laughs> so let me go figure, some Chinese junk, you know, but um, I just want to get a kind of a base reading. So, so that's what I'm gonna do here real quick. This is for uh, for the motor that left me out in the middle of the, or almost dead, you know, battery kind of went went dead on me. So uh, we will check the amps on this thing and see what it's, uh, what it's doing. I did do a test the other day and the, uh, the boat ran on speed three forward from 2 to 8 p.m. and the battery only dropped to 58 percent so I don't know what the hell's going on but I'm thinking maybe it's drawing too many amps so that's what we would do we would check it out so that's the little meter that I bought like I said it's 40 dollars came with a temperature probe in the wire ends that you hook to it which we're not using in wire ends for this but basically all you do is you set this to your, your amp setting which we're gonna do 60 amps and then uh you hit this button to zero it in which i mean see it's zero it's at one now so that kind of shifts around but like i say for what we're doing you know so let's see here's one and i don't know what the readings are supposed to be on this i do know that 30 it's supposed to draw 30 amps at full. So we got eight on speed one, eight and a half. Speed two, we got 10, eight. Three, we got 15. Four, we got 18. Uh, we got about 30 so yeah I really don't see anything wrong with the motor either let's try reverse just see what reverse does this is reverse on one about seven three 13 on two three about 27 so, uh, I don't know, the motor seems to be okay. I just basically put it in a trash can. See what it does, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know what the problem is, but I've rewired the whole thing again. Basically, I've got a, I don't know if you can see it down in there or not. I got me two 50 amp breakers in there and that's so that I can and I wired it bought me some wire and I just wired it so that I can run two motors back here and I'm about when I'm by myself yeah I put the batteries back in the front and um and I've got a connector just like one of those red connectors up there which I had one on it before so that so that you know we can wire it up up front too and I've got a manual relay just one of them little cheapy ones um 50 amp relay tied into that so that we can you know it's not like this bus one back here but so i don't know you know everything checks out fine with the battery so the wiring can't find anything wrong with that so we could try to hit the lake maybe this weekend i don't know because i think i need an alternator on the truck it's always something ain't it but uh yep quick video on you know how to check amp on your motor thanks for watching appreciate it